Yeah, what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel this video we are looking at the week seven sunday prize pick slate got uh, a 10 game main slate got no early game in london this week we have uh one of the better sunday night primetime games we've had this year with the eagles against the dolphins we got 11 total games on this one i got six props from the one and four o'clock game so let's go ahead and get into it uh, uh last video went three two and one just Missed a little bit on uh, Shahid. Derek Carr went well over his passing yards. That was a bad one. And then uh, ETN got right at three receptions. The ones that we hit were Christian Kirk um, hit the over. And uh, running the rushing yards for Kamara went over as well. Let's go ahead and see if we can get it done uh, for this Sunday slate. Like I said, enjoy the content. Appreciate it for the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Links are in the description if you want to join. We'll have some NBA ones coming up in a couple days as well as that season kicks off on Tuesday. And let's get started. So first one got locking in is uh, Josh Allen over 250 and a half passing yards. The Bills offense has been hit or miss this year. I mean, they've been disappointing against the Giants. Barely were able to squeak out a win there. Then they looked really, really good in some other spots against the Dolphins. Against the, the Jags, at least Allen looked really good throwing. And this one, he's going up against the Patriots, who at this point, terrible quarterback play, terrible just production in general. Uh, I think Allen is just going to go in and just crush him. Uh, I think the Bills' offense is ready to explode. We know the Patriots might just be ready to kind of call it a quits on the season and try to get their quarterback. You got a really loaded quarterback draft. I know Belichick, I don't know if he makes it to the next uh, rebuild, but could just be this year where they're bad, get one of the better quarterbacks in the draft, and then maybe... Just like that, they're right back where they we've kind of expected them to be. But I think Allen 250 and a half is one of the lower numbers we've seen for him. Uh, I'm going to take the over on that one. Looking at receiving yards, there's a couple that looks pretty good this week. I got Mark Andrews over 55 and a half receiving yards. Uh, it's basically him and Zay Flowers as the main weapons for Lamar to throw to. Uh, since they lost Dobbins, uh, not much production from their backfield. Edwards mixes in a little bit. Hill mixes in a little bit, but they're not getting a ton of production in the receiving game. So I think Andrews at 55 and a half gets to one of the better spots against the Lions. They've been a good defensively, but tight ends, a spot where they have given up some production, top 10 in uh, fantasy points given up to tight ends this year. And Andrews is one of the better tight ends in the league. So taking him over 55 and a half receiving yards for our third prop. We're going down uh, here a further bet down a little bit. We're going to be taking another um, over receiving yards and this one is a four o'clock game he's the best receiver in football top three at times right now he's the best receiver because uh justin jefferson is out and on the slate he's by far the best option um uh, cooper cup over 92 and a half receiving yards uh this one is a really good spot against pittsburgh they have been shelled against a lot of teams through the air they've been good against the run they have a good front seven but secondary is really bad cooper cup just might as well just pencil him in for 100 plus yards. It's what he does every single week. Most times he's going to be getting 100 plus yards, especially in really good matchups like this against the Steelers. Another good prop that I'm looking at is another receiving yard. This is one of the better games to target if you're looking to for a fantasy stack or a DraftKings lineup. Taking Keenan Allen over 79 and a half receiving yards. Last week was definitely a sweat against Dallas, but he was able to get it done, produced late uh, second half. So. Uh, in this one, he's going up against the Chiefs, which expected to be high scoring throughout. It has the highest total slate, um, highest total game on the slate by far. And 79 is a little bit of a discount that we got against Dallas. So I feel like Herbert is going to be looking to Keenan Allen a lot. For whatever reason, they haven't been getting Quintus Johnston super involved yet. So see if that happens this week. But either way, Keenan Allen, 79 and a half receiving yards looks really good. Uh, you got to like the Packers offense a little bit this week. Go on any team, a te any team that goes up against this Denver Broncos defense, you're going to be interested. And you got Christian Watson, who's making his third start of the season. First one, he was limited. Second one, he jumped up to 86% of snaps. So we know he's going to be out there in all two receiver sets, maybe plays up to 90 plus percent of snaps this week. If you're liking Jordan Love a little bit uh, to get over his passing yards, but for sure, I think Watson is going to get you 54 receiving yards against the worst defense in football and then for our final prop we're going over to passing touchdowns uh justin herbert give me two touchdowns through the air from him 
You got a bunch of quarterbacks at one, which you could look to. I think Josh Allen at one and a half also looks pretty good if you're not going to take his passing yards. But Herbert, we've seen him have really good games. Uh, just have some monster games, other games. Looks a little disappointing, but in this one, coming off of a, a loss against Dallas, they really need a, a win here if they want to try to make the postseason. Uh, going up against the Chiefs will be tough, but we've seen Herbert see if he can go mano a mano against Patrick Mahomes, come out ahead. Two touchdowns, they do like to throw a lot. Uh, whether it be with Eckler, he could get a touchdown through the air. I think Allen definitely has a chance to. Uh, but either way, I think the points that they're going to score this week, pretty likely that Herbert gets you two touchdowns. So that's what I got. Those are the six picks I'm looking at. Josh Allen over 250.5 passing yards. Mark Andrews over 55.5 receiving yards. Cooper Cup over 92.5 receiving yards. Keenan Allen over 79.5 receiving yards. 53.5 for Christian Watson and over two or one and a half passing touchdowns for Justin Herbert. Best of luck if you are telling. Let me know other props that you like down in the description. I will catch you all next time.